Hey guys, Stacy here with a new game called Midwinter. I found it on Steam. Actually, I believe I found it on Twitter first. I went to Steam to check it out. It is a game developed by one person. Her name is Anna. She's from Sweden and she created Tailcore Studios. Uh, the game is about Swedish folklore and stories and things like that. So I thought we would enjoy it a lot. There was also a sound designer, so all the music kind of fits with that theme and I thought we would check it out since you know Star Stables from Sweden and a lot of similar folklore is in Star Stable it would be fun to explore that a little bit more so I'm anxious to get started we play as this little gnome down here and we go on a point and click adventure <laughs> I've left the music volume up a little bit I usually turn it down but music is I guess a big part of the game so I wanted to leave it up hello sir what do we have here? I got that from a discarded letter that was sent to the last humans who lived here. I think it makes for good decoration. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. In the past, I was always outside when it was dark and only here during daytime. However, that candle has often lit my home since the last humans left. Mm. My trusty old bag. Luckily, it is larger on the inside than the outside. That's good. Let's take it. Hmm. Now I have something to put useful things in. If I can use an item I carry, I will do so. Mm -hmm. His bed is a mitten! What do we do? Make the bed? Mm. Things seem to have changed around the farm. I should look into it before I go back to sleep. Oh, what's this? Power gained from the forest, power gained from the farm. Can we take the stamp? We might need it. Oh, no, never mind. Hmm. Nothing to light the candle with. All right, let's go outside. Get to work. I wonder what our job is. Uh. The light from above. What does it mean? I should find out what is going on before I head out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Seems like humans are living there again. It's been so long. So he must live under, under the house. I'm so happy we found this place. And so cheap. Oh, okay. I know, dear. It will be a great place for the baby to grow up. Oh, the baby. I so too. Oh, do you think there's a gnome on the farm? Do, do all farms have gnomes? I don't know, but I'll put out some porridge anyway. Porridge, we done that? We did that in Star Stable around Christmas time. Oh, the baby just kicked really hard. It seems restless. Maybe it wants to get out. It cannot be long now. Come, we should get some rest. Hmm. Humans are truly living up there again, and with a child on the way, no less. I have a purpose again. What is this purpose? We are, I am so not up on Swedish folklore. I have no idea. But I definitely left porridge out for gnomes in Star Stable. Hmm. Let's go eat some porridge. Oh, I hope it was delicious. I ate it all. Yes, you did. Ooh, we're gonna go inside. Oh, we're gonna snoop in this people's house. <laughs> key hanger. The key to the root cellar appears to be missing. If I find it, I should probably bring it back. That's nice of him. Luggage? What are we gonna do with it? I shall not disturb belongings that are not mine. Okay. Hmm. I like that painting. Shoes. Mm -hmm. Seems like there is only two of them. The last humans were six. Can we do anything with the shoes? Hmm. They are not mine to use, but when they are worn out, I could make a bed out of one. Mm -hmm. 
The last humans had that sent to them. The man could stare at it for hours. That's a map of the U.S. Uh. I have wanted to burn that map with the last man staring at it so, but I shall not. What? Let's go into the bedroom. Let's stare at those sleeping people. Oh, I believe the humans are in there. I should not enter. Well, let's go eat, eat some food in the kitchen. What is this? Oh, yarn. I thought it was hair. Maybe we can... Maybe we can untangle it for them. This is too tangled. I need scissors for this. Where are they now? Oh, look, she's knitting something for the baby. Look at this gnome up here. <laughs> While I enjoy knit work, I think my wisdom would be put to better use elsewhere. Can we, like, go play with the wooden doll? I do not need it, and I am not a stealer. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. A couple of the house's treasures. I'm glad the old humans left them here, where they belong. All right, well, let's uh, find some scissors. Oh, oh my gosh. Miss, uh, we smells new humans here. Truth? That scared me. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. And we smell one unborn. No, there is no unborn child. Uh oh. Does it want to take the unborn child? Then this lies. It lies to us. We will have it, Nissa. Trade it for one of our own. Oh no, a changeling! Now we leave. We see again. Bye, creepy troll. <laughs> What's this? What a terrible notion. A troll child among the humans will hurt farm and forest alike. The troll must be stopped. I am too weak to fight her now, but if I continue with my duties around the farm, I shall be able to draw strength from it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we're gonna earn power by doing chores? Is that what we're gonna do? Otherwise, I could ask this, the Skogsra, the guardian of the forest, for help. Hopefully, she would agree before the human child is born. Let's let's go take this. Oh, what is it? <gasps> A map. Rudgard, Gord. Rudgard. There's a cow barn, a well, a seed barn, loo, and shed. Oh no, they don't even have an indoor bathroom. Root cellar. Is this how we transport? Yes, it is. Okay. A horse. Hello, horsey. There's the key. We definitely need some rope. I don't know what for, but we need it. Oh, let's pet the horse. I hope we don't scare him. Hey, good buddy. Mm -hmm. It does not feel right to disturb her without a reason. I mean, I think she would enjoy a pat, no? <laughs> let's go to the well. What have we here? Oh dear, what am I saying? I must have spent too much time alone. The rope appears to be broken. It needs to be mended if the humans are to have any drinking water. Well, we have some rope. We could fix that right up. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. All right, so we'll keep our eye out for a bucket. Seed barn. <gasps> Ooh, more gnomes. Hmm. Those are Vatar. They live here on the farm as well, in a burrow under this barn, in fact. Okay. 
Let's go have a chat. Ooh, and there's our bucket. Hmm. The Vatar are standing right there. I cannot take wheat without them noticing. Oh, I thought we would just have a chat. That's all. Maybe we'll pet this kitty cat. He won't. I bet you he won't pet the kitty cat. Mm -hmm. As much as I would like to hold him, it looks like he is sleeping. I should leave him alone for now. Let's go up the ladder. Oh, I see nothing of importance up there. Well, we're gonna take the bucket, because we need that for the well. Bye, Vitar. I wonder if we need this, too. I do not believe I have any use for a pitchfork. Well, that's okay. Let's go back to the well. Takes them quite a bit of time to get anywhere, doesn't it? Excellent. Oh, so cool. We completed a chore, so we gained a little bit of power. I like it. Do we have to do anything else? No. Excellent. Um, so we have that key. Oh, the root cellar's way out there. Okay. I see it. Let's go to the loo and the shed. Do we need to clean the bathroom? We need to restock the toilet paper. Oh, we closed the lid. Is that it? Hmm. The lid is down. Less risk of small creatures to fall into the hole now. Should we lock it? Okay. Mm. We'll not keep a grown human out, but maybe a small one. No, we want to open the door. There we go. Oh, there's the scissors. Hmm. We need those. Hmm. There's enough firewood for some time. The humans should not have to freeze. We need to go in and untangle that knitting yarn. They will much appreciate that. Nice! We've got the house almost completed. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go outside. Alright, now we can open our map and head to the root cellar. Because we have the key. Oh, dawn is coming, he said. Okay. So I guess we have to get back home... Yes, sir, but we have the key, I thought. All right, excellent. Let's open the door. What do we have here? Potatoes. I do not know what is in that bottle, but I'm fairly certain it is not what I need right now. Hmm. I should probably leave those potatoes for the humans. Oh, so we took some for ourselves? I thought he was against stealing. We, we should put that back on, huh? Okay. I think we're supposed to go back to our house. Because it's almost dawn. We don't want to get seen. Let's go to bed. Hmm. Should I really go to bed and sleep until tomorrow evening? I might miss important things if I have not explored the farm properly before I sleep. Oh no! 
Well, okay. Let's go back out then. I just thought we were like on a time limit. We could go to the field. Hmm. Oh, oh, they're telling us it's time to sleep. Okay. So I guess we don't have to ever make our way back to bed. He'll <laughs> do it automatically. Cool. Oh wait, the humans seem to be up there again. Perhaps I should listen to what they are talking about before I head out. How are you feeling, dear? It's close. The baby really wants to get out now. That's wonderful. Shall I go to the village and see if there's a midwife there? Not yet. I will let you know. Thank you for untangling this yarn, by the way. It was very nice of you. Untangling the yarn? I have done no such thing. No? That's odd. Oh, now that I remember. You did not mend a rope in the well, did you? <laughs> no, I did not. Then we might have a gnome on the farm after all. Oh, <laughs> they found me out. I will put out some porridge again tonight. You didn't notice that we ain't eating it? How lovely. I'm so happy. I want to have a gnome? Oh, I feel so tired. Could you help me to bed? Of course. Here, let me carry you. Alright, they're officially in bed now. It's time for work. Oh, let's eat our porridge. Nice. Ooh, enthusiastic eater. We got an achievement. All right, I'd like to go back out to the field. Then I guess maybe we should check the house again? Mm. The trusty old shovel. It should be in the shed where it belongs. Oh no, he's gonna walk all the way over there. Okay, let's put this shovel in the shed. Open the latch, open the door. Hang the shovel. Yay! Okay, shut the door. And shut the latch. All right, now I would like to I know we can go to the forest and the stream, but I wonder if we should check, like, the house again? See if they need us to do anything else? I'm just not sure. Oh, we should hang the key back up! I forgot. No, okay, so... Let's hang the key up. Good luck reaching, little buddy! <laughs> yes! Cool. What else do we have? Scissors. Should we put them in the kitchen? Do they? Oh no, they go back in the shed, don't they? That's strange. I've always kept scissors in the office or the kitchen. Maybe they're shed scissors. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We should have put them there while we were here before. <gasps> oh, we've almost done it all. I wonder if the potatoes are something that we're supposed to- Oh, see? We don't eat them, so... They must go in the house. And then I think we've done all the house chores! No? I want to put- where do I put the potatoes? Here? Mm -hmm. Is he gonna sit on the bench? Uh. Uh oh. I was gonna say that would be super cute! I... Okay, I don't know where the potatoes go. So let's go visit the forest. We've not been to the forest yet. Oh! 
She looks a little nicer than the troll. Well, well. The guardian of the farm out here in my forest. I trust you have a good reason for bringing the stench of human ignorance into my home. Oh, maybe she's not very nice. Pardon the intrusion, madam. But there is in fact something I would like to ask you to help with. The troll? If it has anything to do with helping humans, spare yourself the trouble. Oh, man. I have no love for creatures who take delight in burning my trees, replacing flowers with food for their beasts. Understandable. But there are new humans living on the farm now, and you should at least give them a chance. Give them a chance? <laughs> I will give them the same chance they gave the oak tree on the hill last spring. For as many summers as there are toes of sixty men had it been standing there. And they cut it down in a single day. How dare you defend such an act? That is indeed a regrettable story. I agree. I feel ashamed to have come here. But please consider one final thing. Speak it. You see, the reason for me being in need of your help is that the forest troll wishes to replace the human's baby with its own as soon as it is born. But those were, those were different humans that cut down the tree, which is very unfortunate. I understand why she's upset, but different people now. From what I hear, trolls enslave human children, making them live out in the forest with them. Oh no. As for the troll child, some humans treat very badly once they discover that it is a changeling. No good comes out of this for neither forest nor farm. Is that so? A troll with a human servant could indeed prove dangerous. Trolls are powerful but stupid. If they had the mind of a human to aid them, very well. I shall consider your offer. But if I am to aid you, I want you to first prove that you possess the wits and wisdom to defeat the troll. Therefore, return to me before the child is born, and bring with you the following. A fist that's filled with sand of gold, and magic sung with words of old. Oh, that sounds like a riddle, lady! Just give me a checklist. Now leave before I change my mind. Okay, bye. Mm. She's protector of the forest, just like I am protector of the farm. Okay, bye. Let's go to the stream. <gasps> Hello? Is he a mermaid? Oh, that was silly. He has legs. <laughs> a wanderer approaches my watery home. Neither beast nor a human, a humble gnome. Humble gnome. I will not drown you. Be not afraid. In fact, I sense that you need my aid. Before I give you what you need, I want an offering. So take heed. This bow I use is worn and old. Not much longer will it hold. If strands of hair you would provide in helping you, I would take pride. There it is. You heard your task. Now go and search for what I ask. Are we gonna have to steal hair from that human's head? Knockin? Mm -hmm. Nikin? They say that he lures humans close with his music and then drowns them. Wow. Okay, so we need some strange thing. For oh, maybe from the horse we can get hair. Can we get, um, we might need scissors. Mm. If I had a pair of scissors, I could cut off a few strands of her tail. 
Yes. Let's go to the shed. I never should have put back the scissors. Oh no, it's morning. I hope I'm not taking too long. I could have had the hair already. <gasps> this is the night the troll will return? Oh no. I shouldn't have put back those scissors. Oh, oh no. Hey, they didn't leave me any porridge. I guess they were busy. <laughs> we meet again, Lisa. And we smell small, born human now. We will has it. No way. No. I cannot allow you to do this. What will the Nissa do? Knit angry mittens for us? We will take it now. This is folly. If you do this, you put both the forest and the farm in danger. Tanissa talks too much. Now you will have to fight. Trolls are magical. Tanissa knows so. Now he will taste it. Uh oh. Oh no, I don't have enough power! You will have to do more than that to make me step aside. More, Denisa says. Denisa will ask more. Oh no. This is madness, troll. Why are you even doing this? The human will be our servant. Now let us have it. Troll. Please, how can you even consider leaving your own child to the humans? Our little one will be fine. He's strong, he will get foods from humans. Oh no, I'm not gonna last much longer. You know that will not happen. They will see that it is a troll and try to get rid of it. Hurt it. Denisis. Denis is right. We cannot do this to a little one. Finally, you see reason. Now go, and never try and steal another human child again. Yes, we leave. For now, we cease again, Missa. Did we do it? We stopped the troll on our own! I bet there's multiple endings! It was several years before the troll was heard from again. That time, it was the human's second child it wanted. Nissa called upon the aid of the Skogs Skogsra, Skogsra, the guardian of the forest. However, their relation was strained by the carelessness of the humans, and she was not inclined to help. Therefore, Nissa had to face the troll alone once more. But that is a story for another time. <gasps> Maybe it will be a sequel! Look at that! One person did so much! And there was a whole bunch of musicians that helped out. That's awesome, the music was really good. I really liked this game. It was short, it was sweet, it was it was pretty interesting. I really liked the, the lure and the story. We'll have to play again and see if we could do all the forest stuff. And get a different ending. That must be how it's done. No gnomes were hurt during the production of this game. Of course, why would you hurt the little gnomes? There's nothing I want more right now than a gnome to live at my house. That was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little bit of fun new game to break up some of the usual stuff we're into. I really liked it. And if you guys liked it, you can also check it out on Steam. It was not very expensive at all. And Obviously we can support some indie developers, yay! Thank you for watching Midwinter.